Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel, and today in this video we'll be covering a chess platform training game I played today. Uh, so as you can see, my rating has fallen quite a bit, um, uh, but at some point my rating should be able to recover, so that will come slowly. Uh, anyways, I was playing the white pieces, and let's take a look what happened. So d4, d5, uh, c4, uh, c6, we go into a Slav defense. Pretty common moves here. Uh, e3, bishop, g5. Da -da. Castles, knight, bd7. It takes, takes. Here, I play the move e4. Trying to strike open in the center. Trying to create some complications. Pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, knight takes. Here, bishop to e7. And here, I play the move b3. Typically, this bishop on c1, you don't want to develop it on this diagonal because typically, it can get targeted. Uh, so putting the bishop on b2 is usually useful because you can also team up with the queen, the knight, you can push the f-pawn, you can put the rooks on the center line, etc. Here knight f6, I play bishop b2. Here knight takes and queen takes. Here I don't want to necessarily take my opponent's knight because after bishop takes, then this pawn is really hard to defend. So I prefer that my opponent takes, on, uh, takes me instead. So knight takes, queen takes, bishop f6, and here I just simply bring my rook on a1 into the game. Queen to c7, here I play rook d2, I'm going to double up. My opponent does similar. Here I just play move g3, I can play f4 in the future, and I can also play king g2, just slow improvement, also some prophylactic moves. Here rook uh, a to d8, king to g2, h6 here, here I play the move h4, this just prevents the move bishop to g5 targeting my rook. It also gains some extra space here, I can maybe push h5 in the future. So here c5 was played, and here I push her with the move d5 trying to create a pass pawn uh, takes takes and here takes takes and then we simplify and then i bring my rook back to d2 i can maybe play d6 at some point that's still in consideration queen to uh, d6 was played here and here i play the move f4 my idea is to play the move queen e5 and if my opponent trades which you'll see here if my opponent trades with me then i get these two really strong pawns here in the center and i sh and, and this pawn on d6 whenever i push it will become a supported pass pawn uh, however, instead, my opponent plays b5. Here, I play king f3, f6, and I play my queen back to c3. Uh, prevent, like, prevent the move c4 for now. Uh, here, rook c7, I, I bring my queen to d3. I can maybe go to g6 or go to f5. Here, c4 was played. Here, I take rook takes, and here, I play queen f4, uh, queen f5, sorry. And my idea is to go to e6 and then try to create a pass pawn. Uh, rook c8 was played, and this is a massive blunder, because that allows queen e6 check, my idea. Queen takes, pawn takes, rook c3 check, here I play king to g4. Uh, my idea is that I'm going to play, like, I'm going to bring my king in to g6, and bring my rook into d7, and then this should be really good for me. Here g6 was played, and here I play rook to d7. Better here was actually would have been to just play rook d8 check. The idea is that after rook takes and rook takes, and something like king g7, then here I can just simply play e7, and there's no way from stopping me from getting a queen, or at the minimum having a rook up, because if you play rook e3 to prevent, then I can simply uh, be up a rook, and uh, I'm only down a pawn, this should be very easily winning. Uh, however, here I play rook d7 instead, um, not the best chess. Uh, here h5, h5 was played, I just played king h3, which is force. Here I played rook c, here rook c7 was played, I could have just played e7, um, and then after king f7, here I actually have the move rook to e1, uh, and then I can play e8 equals queen. However, I missed this. Instead, I played the move rook e8 first. I just changed the move order. The idea is that if you take and take, then here I'm threatening rook e8 followed by uh, d8 equals queen, and if you move the king, then I can simply promote to a queen directly. Instead, my opponent plays king f8, and here I play e7, at which point my opponent resigns, because if you play king e8, then I have rook d8 check, king f7, and here e8 equals queen, followed by mate soon after. Uh, so, for example, queen, and then here queen f8, and then here queen h8, which is checkmate. Or, alternatively, if you play the move king to f7 here, then I can play e equals queen, which is a uh, double check. And then, uh, this is actually, in fact, a checkmate straight up because this rook covers the 7th rank, this queen covers the back rank, uh, and all the squares are taken, and this rook and this queen uh, patrol both of these squares here on the e-file, so this would be checkmate. Uh, so yeah, so quite a nice game. Um, finally was able to play a relatively good game, even despite being really tilted. 
um, followed sort of the opening plans, trying to break open in the center with e4, and then being really principled with my development. Uh, and then just really nice positional technique in general. Uh, in fact, this is like my first good game in a long time. Um, ever since I became Tilted, I haven't really had a good game. This was the first game where I actually sort of retained a little bit of my form, although it still wasn't my true form, I believe. Uh, but it's still a step in the right direction. Uh, and yeah, quite a positional game. Um, trying to come up with some positional nuances with f4 and queen e5. Uh, and yeah, so just nice positional effort in general, which converted into a nice win. Still some areas for improvement. Um, hopefully when I become untilted, uh, that would be good. Uh, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed this game and thanks for watching.